Hey, and welcome back to my channel. In my latest videos, we've been breaking down some of the roles of a software development team. We've learned about software engineers who work behind the scenes writing code and developing the backend systems. We've also explored the complex front-facing role of a product manager who controls the direction and scope of the final product while reporting back to stakeholders such as clients and company executives. Does this seem like something we're missing here though? Think about it. Software engineers know how to write code to perform actions and product managers know how to conduct research and make sure the software is meeting the broader needs of the end user. But in order for the user to, well, use the product, there needs to be a way to interact with the software. This is where the product designer comes in. A product designer is responsible for planning the user experience, that is, how the end user ends up interacting with the final product. It's their goal to organize and streamline the product's features so the user is able to interact and perform actions with ease. Product designers utilize their design tools and knowledge to act as the bridge between the end user and the development team, specifically the program and the product managers. In this video, we're gonna dive deep into some of the responsibilities taken on by a product designer, as well as the tools and processes they utilize to be successful. We'll also look at some more specialized roles in the field, as well as how the roles differ depending on the size of the company. But before we get started, as always, please consider liking, subscribing, clicking that bell. It's completely free and really means a lot to us. What does a product designer do? Much like our product manager, the product designer wears many different hats, and their role often changes and evolves as the development process progresses. Unlike our product manager though, the designer role is much less nebulous and hard to define. Still, the product designer goes by many names like experience designer, information architect, interaction designer, experience architect, user interface designer, user experience designer. While all of these names can be used to refer to a product designer, they can also be separate, more specialized roles on our broader team that a designer works with and manages. We'll break these roles down in just a minute. But for now, let's look at some of those words to help us define what exactly it is a product designer does. Experience, information, interaction, interface. All of these elements play a huge part in the role of an effective designer. There are three elements to product design. System design, which is the underlying structure of the software that the user doesn't necessarily see. Process design, which determines the user's workflow as they navigate the software. And interface design, which focuses on the software's visual layout and interactive the feedback. The product designer is a problem solving role. Each of these design processes starts with a problem that must be solved and it's up to the designer to find the most effective attractive solution while considering competition and balancing the needs of the business with that of the user. At the beginning of the development process, the product designer works very closely with the manager. Part of the product manager's job is to conduct research with the intended target audience or potential users to identify points of frustration in their current processes or software tools. The product designer takes this research and uses it to define specific problems and gets to the root of it coming up with specific solutions to be developed and tested. When solutions are found to be effective through extensive testing, the product designer supports the development team by organizing and structuring the information in a logical, presentable manner. This ends up determining the user's workflow and the ease of navigation within the software. With this information in mind, the designer then works closely with the user interface designer. In this case, you can think of the product designer as the architect and the UI designer as the interior decorator. They work together to craft a visually pleasing and logically structured interface to allow the users to smoothly navigate and operate the software. Once the software has been released, the designer continues to support the software by updating it based on feedback from the users. Lean methodology and the tools of a product designer. As should now be clear, software development is a lengthy and expensive process. When creating a brand new piece of software, you need to make sure that your time, effort, and money are being used wisely. Without proper research and planning, the chances of sinking resources into a project doomed to fail is high. How will you know if your final release will be effective unless you confirm it with real users along the way. This is where, where the process known as lean methodology comes in, a way of ensuring that your efforts are meeting the needs of the customer without wasting time and money on unsuccessful ideas. This generates value for both the business and most importantly, the company. The first element in lean methodology is research. You must do in-depth research on your customers, clients, and users to determine and attempt to solve their issues. One of the best ways to do this is to create a journey map. A journey map is a visual representation like a flowchart of the process a user takes when solving a problem using software. It maps everything from the user's goals and mindsets going into a project to the way they navigate and operate the software. The goal of a journey map is to break down this process and identify 
areas of improvement. Journey maps are often used alongside client profiles, which help paint a clear picture of the end user. After research has been performed and problems have been defined, a product designer then goes about crafting potential solutions using a number of different prototyping techniques. Wireframes. Wireframes are very rough sketches of what the final product will look like and operate and outline a rough workflow that a user will follow and operate in the software. Prototypes. Prototypes are slightly more detailed mockups that simulate the operation of the software to help the development team and prospective users to better visualize the final product. High fidelity design. These are the most detailed mockups and often fully operational, but stripped down versions of the final product. They will resemble the product in form and function. These solutions are then presented to users for feedback. If the users react negatively to the solutions, then they are immediately tossed out. However, solutions that receive a positive feedback are further developed and tested. These are the three core tenets of lean methodology. Understand the problem, quickly create something to test the solution, and evaluate the problem with real world testing. Product designer specialization. At a small company or startup, a product designer will likely be responsible for the entire beginning to end process. These designers will work closely with the rest of the team and even the executives to ensure the product is meeting standards. However, at a larger company, the product design tasks may be split up and tackled by a team. Here are some specializations that you might find on a team of product designers. User experience researcher. This role focuses on the research stage of product design. Psychology comes into play heavily here as you will be gathering insight into users' motivation and thought processes. UX Information Architect. This role ensures that the data the software presents is neatly organized and easily accessed by the user. For instance, in the development of a website, they are responsible for the overall structure. UX Writer. The writer is responsible for all the text seen within a program or project. This is a less technical role, but still requires knowledge of the product and attention to detail. UX Analyst. The UX Analyst role is an even more specialized version of the researcher. It's their job to gather data on the product's usage and use it to make inform decisions on where their product should go in the future. No software development team would be complete without a product designer. They bridge the gap between software engineers and the product managers and help create the structure and interface that the end user eventually interacts with. They are directly responsible for the user's experience. If they do their job well, operating the software will be smooth and seamless. If you have any questions or additional thoughts regarding product designers that we didn't mention here, please comment below. If you enjoy this video, again, please consider liking, subscribing, clicking that bell. It really means a lot and it's completely free. You can also add me on Instagram and TikTok as I try my best to post daily. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.